What's going on guys today? Um, got another video for you and uh, we're gonna be looking at how to like manipulate like samples and then how I turned it into like an old school beat right here. All the stuff you can just do with the sample just to make the beat more interesting and not just keep it the same. So yeah, so I started off with this sample right here. As you can see, it's like really short. I just first of all just time stretched it, you know, so that when you change the BPM, it stays the same. Then uh, I linked it to this channel right here to number five. And what I put on there was some EQ, as you can see right here. It's quite harsh. Uh, that's because the sample was really loud. So I had to like, mess around with it, search out which uh, sounds were too loud, too harsh. Then I also cut out some highs right here, the lows so that the bass has some space. And then I also put down this uh, automation clip of a love filter with this effect right here, which uh, you can find by scrolling through these presets right here. And then if you right click here, and press create automation clip you'll get this right here and uh yeah i just created that real quick as well and i'll get into that after but after i put all those effects on it this is how it was sounding like And after I had that what i then did and uh, as you can see there's actually three other versions i have so this one right here this one over here and this one how you make a second one is you just press uh, shift and then you just uh, hold on here and pull one out like that and after you've done that i put this one down here and you just click right here and press make unique and after you've made it unique you can uh, do whatever you want with it without affecting this original sample right here and what i did with this one is i just pitched it up like this and that's it so it was sounding like this after that And then I made another one, another unique sample right here. And what I did with this one is just uh, pitched it all the way down. So that's how it sounded like. And for the last one, what I did with that one was uh, I just reversed it. So you click right here and then it's reversed. And that way you already have uh, four different type of loops out of one sample. So that's already like, you can do so much already with that. And then uh, the last thing, like I said, which I added was this uh, love filter automation clip. And it makes like the beat kind of like go up and down the volume cut in and out. So uh, with that effect on there, this is how it sounds like. As you can see, I only use it for like every time the, the drop hits and just for the end of it right here. Um, but you can mess around with that how you like. This is just for how I did it. What you can also do like I did is add like a counter melody or some like vocals in the background. And so what I did for that was I went into arcade right here. I searched out this preset right here called felt this before. And uh, I put down this pattern right here. And what I did for the effects on there was I put a lot of reverb on there. It's right here. Then I also put some EQ on there and some delay. After I put all that down, this is how it was sounding like And that was pretty much it. That's all I did for the melodies and all that. So next up, I went to the drums. And what I would do when you already have a lot of melodies is just keep the drums simple. You know, I always say that, but it's just, it's facts. So, you know, if, if you keep the drums simple, a lot more people want to rap on it. Because if you're doing too much, people just, they just don't want to rap on it. They just, they just, just think that, that just, you know, you know. So I uh, put down the snare right here. Uh, no effects on that and uh, the next thing I added was this kick right here Also no effects on that, just a uh, good sound selection. After I had that, I added these hi-hats right here. They're a pretty simple two-step just with like a little two changes here and there. Uh, next up, I added this bass right here, which is just following the uh, bass line from the uh, melody. I have a video on how to figure out what the key of the sample is. This sample is in uh, F sharp minor. Yeah, I'll leave the link to that in the description if you want to know how to figure that out. Yeah, so I put down this right here. Next up, I added this open hat right here, which actually did have some effects on it, uh, but it was only just a bit of reverb as you can see right here, and otherwise, nothing. So this is what that was sounding like. The last thing I actually added was this perk right here, which also had a tiny bit of reverb on there, and that's what that was sounding like. And 
and that was pretty much it so that's uh that's all i did right there for the drums and the melody and all that so the next thing i did was the arrangement yeah i just uh, made sure i switched it up between the samples this is the intro right here with the normal sample then the reversed one then it comes over here this is the pitched up one when it drops over here is the uh, normal one again and this is supposed to be like kind of the hook as you can see every time like it changes from hook to verse this uh love filter effect comes in again then this over here is the verse starts off slow with the with the pitch down sample and then it switches over when the b like properly drops to the reversed one all the way to the end then the love filter effect comes in and then the uh hook comes back in again which just copied over and then the uh second verse i just you know messed again with the the reversed and pitch down sample then i've i have like this little bridge thing here then the hook copied back over again as you can see i'm just always you know cutting out some drums putting them back in again so my dad just walked in so that's it that's how i made this whole beat right here if you want you can go check it out in the description below you know don't forget to subscribe like like this video you know if it helped you and if it didn't help you you can still like it you know and peace <laughs>